The gyro or gyros is with some tweaks relatively low in calories and takes 20 minutes to make. Starting off with the meat and I decided to use one skinless bonus chicken thigh that weighs 150 gram and I did this for two reasons. First, chicken thighs aren't even that much higher in calories than breast as long as you remove the skin and the excess fat. Especially the skin is something we all love because it's crunchy and tasty but the truth is that the skin is super high in calories because it contains most of the fat. This one for example weighs 47 grams and because it's so high in fat, fat it has 213 calories which is the same amount than the entire chicken thigh which is the reason I personally rarely eat the skin. The second reason I choose chicken thigh is that it's super easy to cook. I will spray some olive oil on both sides and then I will cover it with seasoning. I will add some salt, then I will add some garlic powder and then the most important ingredient to get this mediterranean flavor and then it is dried oregano also on both sides. And this now gets into the oven for 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 F and it will turn out perfect every single time. In the meantime, I will prepare the rest. Now I try to find a good store-bought pita bread. I tried the pita with a pocket and also with a more fluffy version, but to be honest, they both aren't super good. So I thought, you know what, I will make a dough that takes five minutes to make. I will prepare a bowl and a scale and then I will add 50 gram of all-purpose flour. Then I will add half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Mix everything and congrats, you made your homemade self-raising flour. For flavor, I will add one teaspoon of garlic powder and then 60 gram of non-fat Greek yogurt. It's important to add a bit more yogurt than flour so the dough is easily kneadable. Now with a spatula, I will first combine this until everything is chunky like this and then I will go in with my hands and slowly but surely turn this dough into a dough ball. This entire process will take you less than three minutes and it's surprisingly good. Now let this rest until we make the other two things for the euro. First are the vegetables and I will do a very basic combination of one third of a red onion that I will slice into equal sized pieces and then I will also cut one or two small tomatoes into slices as well. The next thing to prepare is the tzatziki. Now, this tzatziki contains garlic, lemon and also fresh dill. This has to go in. The next two ingredients will dictate how many calories you want to add. Olive oil and Greek yogurt, to be exact the fat content of the yogurt. Greek yogurt starts at 0.2% fat and goes all the way up to 10 which has double the calories than the 0.2% version. The reason why restaurants have this insanely good tasting tzatziki is because they not only use the full fat version but they also add a lot of oil which turns the tzatziki into a very high caloric item. So in my opinion there are two possibilities to make a proper tasting lower calorie tzatziki. Number one is to add 50 gram of 0.2% yogurt into a bowl and a teaspoon of 4 gram of olive oil. You need fat in tzatziki to cut through the garlic and add some sweetness. I personally do the second version. I add 50 gram of the full fat Greek yogurt but without any oil at all because this is already super rich and sweet and doesn't need additional oil in my opinion. I would just try both and decide which one you like more. Then I will squeeze in the juices of half a lemon. I will add a pinch of salt. Then I will chop up some dill to add another layer of flavor. And lastly, I will add one clove of garlic with my garlic press. Don't add the garlic as a big piece in. It's not super pleasant later on unless you remove it. Now mix this until it becomes a super creamy consistency and lay this aside. The last step is the bread. I will spray some olive oil into a cold pan and now I will add in the dough ball and press it down and slowly form a flat pita bread that because of the baking powder will also become fluffy. I will also flip it a couple of times so both sides get in contact with the olive oil. This is a 24 cm or 9.5 inch pan and the dough should cover the entire surface like this. Now switch on the heat to medium and cook this for 5-6 to six minutes. I will flip this every minute or so to get the even amount of golden brown color on each side and there you go. For the amount of time that this takes, it's a super nice way to make bread and it's also fairly high in protein. So let's build the gyro. First I will add the tzatziki into the middle of the pita bread. This is exactly one serving and should be enough to cover everything. Next I will top this with my red onion and also cover this evenly with my tomatoes. At this stage the chicken should be ready as well and what I like doing is to slice this in half and then a couple of times horizontal to get small bite sized pieces. Add this on top of the tzatziki, the 150 gram chicken thigh should fit this perfectly. Close the bread and there you have it. The entire gyro comes in with 558 calories, 54 grams of carbs, 19 grams of fat and 44 grams of protein and it is in my opinion a good compromise between calories and taste and if you need something else that convinces you to make this then just look into my face when I ate this. Click on this video if you want to know how you can make an easy healthier cheese sauce and see you there.